On the other hand, there have been a few fossils that were touted as transitional forms by evolutionists, but later turned out to be nothing of the sort. One of the most important of these alleged transitional forms was the fossil of a fish called a coelacanth. For years, evolutionists claimed that this creature, which was only known in the fossil record, had characteristics similar to those of land-dwelling animals. It had, they argued, primitive legs and a primitive lung. These evolutionist claims about the coelacanth were advanced as a scientific fact and imaginary drawings picturing the animal crawling onto land from water made their way even to textbooks. It came as a great shock to evolutionists when a living example of the supposedly extinct coelacanth was caught in the Indian Ocean in 1938. It was then seen that the fish was no different from the fish of our day. Contrary to the claims of evolutionists, coelacanths had neither legs nor primitive lungs. What was worse, the coelacanth, supposedly a creature readying itself to make the leap from sea to land, was in reality a fish that lived only in the deep waters of the oceans, never approaching to within 180 meters of the surface. Another alleged transitional form has been a fossil bird called Archaeopteryx. For decades, evolutionists argued that this creature was an intermediary between reptiles and birds. However, the seventh Archaeopteryx fossil, discovered in 1992, revealed that the creature had a sternum. That is, the chest bone essential for flight muscles. This proved that the animal was a perfect flying bird. The evolutionist claims about the claw-like nails on the wings of the Archaeopteryx also failed, since similar structures were also discovered in modern birds like the Hoatzin. Because of such reasons, one of the foremost defenders of the theory of evolution, the Harvard paleontologist Stephen Jay Gould, had to admit that Archaeopteryx could not be considered as a transitional form. <laughs>